Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So, in the last episode, we made to Snowden. We, you know, did everything we could do there, even bought some cool items. And now we're finally leaving. The music's died down and it seems we're in a blizzard. Um, wait, I'm gonna check the trees here. Mainly because I'm curious, are there any cameras? We haven't seen a camera in a while, actually. I'm starting to worry that those might stop being a thing. Because those are really cool and fun to find. Oh. Oh. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. And the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be feel to feel like that way. After all, I'm very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your no. No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Alright, guys. Welcome to the fight against Papyrus. So... You have a few things you can do to Papyrus. You can fight him, which is stupid, because why would you ever fight somebody who's that battle-ready? I mean, have you seen his battle body? Oh my god. But, I'm gonna flirt with him, because I'm quite flirtatious. What? F flirting So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! Uh... I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you! That was too easy. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you! Um... So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Wow, that's really intimidating if I didn't know any better. Oh. You're blue now! That's my attack! Yeah! You're blue now! Dubba Diva to die. That's right, guys. <laughs> so, well, let's keep flirting. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's do later after I capture you. Yeah, it weighs us all the way down, so it's way harder to move. Dab's marinara sauce behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Out. Done. Papyrus dabs MTT brand bitchy cream behind his ear. Hold up longer to jump higher! Jeez! Did he just help us? Dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. What? Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Just like before, but now they're all white because I'm blue. Dip and deep into dot. MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Haha! <laughs> ah, oh! You sneaky son of a. MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. I'm paralyzed, I'm 
Papyrus on Paroho Spigator. What? Oh, you almost got me up. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Undyne will be very proud of me. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, you're getting really mean, Papyrus. I'm not. Okay. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. The king would trip a hedge in the shape of my smile! Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. My brother was. Well, he won't change very much! Papyrus is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Papyrus whispers, Yeah! Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I think Papyrus is starting to learn something. Oh. Ugh. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Someone like you is really rare! Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. And dating might be kind of hard! Papyrus is considering his options. After you're captured and sent away! Oh! Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told as frowning. Ah, who cares? Give up! It smells like bones. Give up or face my special attack! Rattling his bones. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack! Prepare the non bone attack and spend some minutes fixing his, his mistake. I'm gonna use the bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle, your HP is maxed out. Not too long, and I'll use that special attack! Papyrus is cackling. And this is your last chance before my special attack! I'll be fine, Papyrus. I'm this quick after all, and I am powerful. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop budging on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack! It's getting ready for a regular attack. Wait. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Here's an absolutely normal attack! Huh? Crap. Oh, hey, there's the dog. Oh, cool dude. <laughs> and then it's skating. Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah. Good thing I was at full health. Uh, I don't trust this. It's gonna come from the other side, isn't it? Where is it gonna come from? I know there has to be more. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking your boots. I can, I can still jump. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus Elector, get you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Oh my!
Yeeks, that's terrible. Yeah, I can't believe I can't stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quandy will remain stagnant. What should you say? Well, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make Illilith for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Papyrus, what? <laughs> Who knew that all we needed to do was make pals, was to give people awful puzzles and fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing connects it, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king awaits wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then his monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the surface, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. Last just a second. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I go to home? Can I go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home for being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> yeah! Uh, he just floated? Alright, whatever. That was the fight against Papyrus. Man, that hurt. <laughs> We're gonna head back this way for a moment. That took like 13 minutes, I think. Okay. We're gonna stay the night. Yeah, I'm not staying here. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. It's incredible since you've only been here for two minutes. So, now we are at 30. I'm not sure if I explained it, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure I read it somewhere. If you stay at an inn, you end up with one and a half times your maximum health, or maybe ten more than your maximum health. I don't know, something like that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't need to do any of this. So, we're not quite done this episode. The Great Papyrus demands our attention. I mean, just look at him standing there. So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this! I want to take you somewhere really special! A place I like to spend a lot of time! All the way across town, apparently. Or maybe not? <laughs> My house! Yeah, he spends all his time at home, ladies. Don't you love him? I mean, you'll never have to worry about him cheating on you. <laughs> All right. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins on the couch, you gain 20G. It's a saggy old couch. Um, okay, skip by this since this probably won't say anything new. Yep. Anything new about the pet rock? Still covered... Okay, it's just still covered in sprinkles. It says stay tuned. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay. What happens if you say no? Alright. Cool. So before we talk to Papyrus, let's head in here. He'll follow us. That's... 
that's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time! I feel like that's insulting. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. I feel like the other half is sands. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! Oh, dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans. Sans! Stop plugging my life with incidental music! Forget it. My brother always goes to eat out, but... But <laughs> recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! I think what you think of is pie. There's an empty pie tin in the stove. Yeah. There's an empty pie. Oh. Whatever. All right. Let's talk to the virus. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. So this is. I don't know. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Sands, what are you doing in there? Alright. That's my room! If you- <sighs> Man, this is killer on my throat. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yeah, sure. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It's a box of bones. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. That book's one of my favorites! Advanced puzzle and construction for critical minds! The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? A dime found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah! Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle s s scenarios. I don't know. What? How do... How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Alright. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin, of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Hmm... Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? Um, action figures of many sexy robots. It's a beat up pirate flag. Complex manuals and children's books. Alright, we have not actually searched everything I was about to say. The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower account! Of course, fame has a steep price! A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font! The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. So, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that that's Sans that's trolling Papyrus. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Okay, dating start! Dating start. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating room book from the library. We're ready to have a great time! Let's see, uh, step one, press the C key on your dating hood for, for dating hood, uh, sure. Two 
Tuesday. Reel it in. Wait, it's actually Tuesday. Is that a coincidence, or...? Wowie, I feel so informed! Why is that... Why is... I don't feel like any of these things have to do with a date. I think we're ready for step two! Step two, ask them on a date! Ahem! Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Uh, sure. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for step three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care! Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You've wanted to take me from the very beginning! Uh, sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's dumbstruck. No! Your point at all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Don't think you've bested me yet! Why is this like a Phoenix Wright game? I, the Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothing underneath my regular clothes! Just in case someone has to happen, happen, happen to ask me on a date! Behold! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? You're a cool dude. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move into spec with Z. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Okay. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. There's no secret to- no, no, dang it. Um, there's no secret to- that's not your legs, I'm clicking on your hand. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles be, can be improved this way. I see, I see. You are caressing my biceps with a floating heart, but who doesn't? How about your hand? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist! My hat, my hat, my hat, yeah! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! Do you know what this is? I of course know what that is, that's spaghetti! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But also wrong! This ain't no plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti! Finally aged in an open cast! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human! It's about time to end this! There's so many- there's no way this can go any further! I will eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflects me scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! Your wish is- You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Yeah! Ugh! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you I, Papyrus! I... um... boy, is it hot in here. Oh, or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. 
I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would bloom, blossom forth. I would be able to match with your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I just, I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep, I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you're my great, you're great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> my god, my throat bur- Oh, oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> my god, my throat. And Papyrus has left us in his room alone. Let's touch all of his stuff. It's a racer hard bed. Neatly made. Action figures of many sexy robots. Uh, da da. The work should, uh, da ba. Look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly. No, I. Okay. Okay, whatever. The computer's internet is connected to a social media site and it's a box of bones. So Papyrus is gone. So to prevent my voice from going out, I'm going to end it he here. I actually am getting hiccups at this point. I can't do this. I need to take a break. It's been two, almost three hours since I started this. So guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale. We're gonna get back into the game. We're gonna move forward. We're done with the great papyrus. And honestly, that was amazing. My voice is kinda shot though, so I really need this break. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination to this day. So, guys, see you guys next time. <laughs>